everybody. We are ready for our next flower, for our next flower power project. Okay, so check this out. We are going to make a bouquet of coffee filter flowers. And I have all kinds of beautiful flowers here made with coffee filters. Some of them are kind of fluffy and um, some of them are more uh, rounded edges, but we're gonna make the container. And what you're going to need for this project, we're gonna need coffee filters, check, check. We are going to need markers, check, check. If you do not have markers, you can also use food coloring or um, paint, you can use paint too, okay? We're gonna need a spray bottle and we're going to need some kind of um, stem. So we can either use pipe cleaners, okay? Or maybe you have some chopsticks like this, chopsticks we can paint or um, a dowel or gosh, we'll think of some other things. So we're gonna need a some paper plates, or you can use something, to, you don't have to have paper plates, and a cookie sheet, because we're going to start designing our flowers. Now, as far as the, the vase or the vols, <laughs> um, you can use like a tin, oh, I have popsicle sticks too, you can use popsicle sticks. So you can use a can like that, we're gonna tissue that up. Or we can use a mason jar, like I did that, okay? Or we can use any kind of container. These are all mason jars. These are glittered inside. Um, you can also use a, um, a beverage holder to paint, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to need at least um, three coffee filters for every flower. You don't have to, you can use, these were done with just one flower. Um, this one was done with three. So notice this one has like a scalloped edge, meaning round. This one has a pointy edge, okay? It's very carnation-like. And then this one we cut to make a frowsily one here, okay? And these are all on um, pipe cleaners. The other thing that we're going to do is we're, you could, you don't have to, right? But we're gonna make out of coffee filters our butterflies. So if you have any pipe cleaners, great. If you have ribbon, if you have string, if you have rubber bands, if you have a paper clip, if you have a hairpin, get something that we can clamp um, our for our butterfly coffee filters. So let's go ahead and make these beautiful flowers. coffee filter flowers how pretty ooh ah oh, gorgeous now this is just literally one coffee filter right like i said if you wanted to do a more fluffy flower then we could do three coffee filters okay three different circles i'm going to show you how to do all of them and then we got our ooh, like our little fringy wild child kind of hair flower. Let me get that front and center. You gotta need some fluffing on this one. And then we have two coffee filters to make our butterfly. Like I said, here's what we're gonna need for this project. We're gonna need coffee filters. What if you don't have coffee filters? Then what are you gonna do? Well, you can also use paper towels. Yes, paper towels. Now we gotta figure out what are we gonna color these with? I am using my washable markers. If you do not have washable markers, food coloring. So this is food coloring and we can just drip, drip, drip. Boom, 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 okay? Or we can use watercolor paints on our coffee filters or we can just, you know, use those dyes that I was saying you know, like this is, oh, this isn't, isn't this pretty? It's so cool. So pick about, pick what color um, you wanna do, and I'm gonna show you how to dye your flowers, okay? We're gonna need paper towels. We're gonna need scissors. We're gonna need um, glue, 
or a rubber band or tape or a stapler to kind of gather the coffee filter together. And we're gonna need a spray bottle of something. So you can use an old spray bottle, whatever you want. Okay, so step one, we're going to take our coffee filter, okay? And we're going to create a pattern. So does this remind you of anything? The color wheel, yes. If you want that rainbow-licious look, or we can go around and around and around. Am I hypnotizing you yet, right? And then that, what that's going to do is we want to make sure that we don't color the whole coffee filter because then it'll bleed to brown or black. So we're going to leave a little white space. But this is the color wheel, round and around and around. Or excuse me, this one's the color wheel once we douse it. This is, doesn't this look like tie-dye to you? Looks like a tie-dye. Another color wheel. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do different looks depending on if you want like a yellowy marigold sunflower one, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna take our blank coffee filter, put it on something like a, a paper towel or a um, paper plate. And I'm gonna start, hopefully you guys can see this, right? I'm just gonna start putting yellow in the center and again you don't want to cover the whole thing with ink and then i'm going to do a little round and around orange like they're chasing each other okay Rainbow-licious. It's a Skittle colors. The Skittle colors. Click. Gotta hear that snap, baby. Okay, I'm gonna put pink. This doesn't look pink. It looks red to me. We're gonna do purple. And again, remember, try not to overlap your colors. Try not to overlap your colors. So purple, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that out because it's too hard to work with it. Okay, then I'm gonna do my blue. Now watch the magic. Oh yeah, there's magic. Okay, last color. And on the edges, I'm gonna cut most of that off when we start to clip, if we're gonna do a scalloped or curved edge or a pointy edge for our flowers, okay? So we're gonna do, Yay, queen. okay. Now, once I have, I'm gonna show you all these different coat, these techniques, okay? So I've got my different colors here. Now, you need to put this under something that is going to, that it's gonna dry on. And you definitely wanna make sure you don't do it like on a, a flat table because it will, even though these are washable, it will get super messy and it's gonna drip and all that good stuff. So watch this. You're gonna take your spray bottle and really get that nice and damp, okay? Watch the magic, look at what's happening. Mm -hmm. Here it goes. All the colors are gonna start to play together, right? Okay, now I'm gonna do this one and then you can either use a blow dryer or you can put it outside and it will dry in like an hour try not to have them touch though because then they're gonna just bleed all over here we go you see that and if we start to, you see the bleeding, what's happening? Okay. So, we're gonna put these, it's almost like, you know we bake cookies? We're, we're just air drying. Like I said, you can use a, what is it called? A blow dryer, or you can use 
the outside, just the air. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on a paper plate so you can kind of see. Ew. All right, so I'm gonna have you take these away and then we'll show you, like in the magic of those cooking shows, what the after, after it dries. Okay, take these away, darling. Yay. All right, same thing with the paper towel. If you wanted just to use a paper towel like this, bam, okay, and you wanted to go, <laughs> or you could use watercolor, right? It needs a lot of color, baby. All right, I'm just using yellow, orange, and red. I guess we could add pink in there too. I hope you're getting all this. All right, we'll take this, spray, spray, spray. And when you spray, 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 it's gonna bleed, bleed, bleed. Boom, okay, get it nice and doused. And then again, you let it dry and voila. Can you take this? You are going to get this super cool tie-dye version, which I'm gonna show you how to make tie-dye paper towel roses. Oh yes, all right. But let's go ahead and start making our coffee filter flowers and coffee filter. Oh, I forgot one more thing. You can take your coffee filter and actually just take your food coloring and just dip them or drip them with a little like, nyeh, 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 like you're sprinkling like that on the coffee filter and you can dye them that way too. All right, so if you can take these, that would be amazeballs. Here we go, thank you. All right, doctor coffee filter coming in. All right, so let's go ahead and start. And I'm gonna show you how to do the one coffee filter and then the two, a one, two, three. So step one, Let me do this one. You see? Coffee filter. Bam. Fold in half. Then fold in half again. Then fold in half again. Then fold in half again. Look at there. Okay. It's a little skinny triangle. Now we're going to take our scissors. And this is the one where we're just gonna curve. We're gonna make it curved like a little ice cream cone, around and around, just like so. So all I did was curve the top. Now, wait a minute, look at that, hold up. Check it out, it's a heart. Another heart, two hearts. And if we open it up, booyah. It's a flower. So now let's go ahead and what can we use as our stem? Well, we can use these little shish kebab stems or we can, from our leftover Chinese food, we can use a chopstick that we painted a green. We can use a popsicle stick. Oh yeah. We can use today, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use pipe cleaner. I'm just gonna use pipe cleaner. You may not have pipe cleaner, so it's all good. So now, all we're gonna do is take our flower and just gather it up, twist it up, just like so. You see? Whoa. Let's take our pipe cleaner and we're going to wrap it, twist it, 
wrap it, twist it, nee, cinch it, fluff it, and there we go. There's our flower. How simple is that? Amazing. All right. Boom. Now let's show you a more complicated version. Well, nothing is complicated with this, but a more amped up version. So I've got my tie dye and I'm going to take three of them. Very similar. Hmm. I like it. So, okay, cool. So this one, you could make them like one smaller than the other. So let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. I'm going to make this one small. So I'm going to fold it, fold it, fold it, just like we did. But I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. I cut a little, got a little haircut. And then I am going to fold it in half again. Do my little round and around situation. Remember that? Yep. But you see, I could also do pointy. And if I did my pointy, it would be like this, which is cool. I like that. But for this purpose, I'm going to do this one. Hmm, nope. I'm going to cut this again a little smaller. So I'm going to have three layers on this one. Okay, so this one is the baby bear. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. You see that? It's a little bigger. All right, and then I'm going to keep this one totally the same. So I'm just going to curve out the edges. So I'm barely going to take a little trim off the top. Hmm. So it's just barely, barely, barely. All right, so I got Papa Bear. Mama Bear! Baby Bear. Bam! All right, let's gather the family, shall we? Here we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, this is going to be so pretty. I love this already. These are even better. You know, they can dye actually real flowers. They put um, food coloring in the water. If you take white roses and you stick them in there some kind of way. Okay, that's looking really cute. Look at that. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and bring these all together. Right? Twisty wisty. And see all the little layers that you have? Way fuller, right? Now, remember how I said you could twist? Now, what are you going to do at the top? What if you don't have a pipe cleaner to twist it around? What you going to do? Well, you can take tape, right? And tape the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. You can take a stapler and hold on. Staple it together okay so I'm gonna use tape for mine and fluff it fluff it's all about the fluffing right okay and I'm going to for this one just to show you because the last one I showed you on a pipe cleaner I'm gonna take my painted chopstick and I'm going to tape it around and you can actually paint green on top of the tape so that you can't see hey you know what else is a really cool idea it's an even better idea than a popsicle stick or a shish kebab stick or you know chinese food stick it's a pen if you have floral tape you can actually tape your flower to a pen and wrap it in floral tape that's kind of cool too so see Beautiful. Okay, last one I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to make this little frilly willy one. Okay, and then we'll do the coffee filter butterflies. 
Our bouquet is looking gorgeous. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to take this. Shkabloom. Fold in half. Fold in half. Okay. Now, instead of folding it, you know, like, remember, we can do it pointy or we can do it curved. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do those long little skinny slits. Little skinny fringes. Try not to overlap them where they will be cut off. It takes very good fine motor skills to do this. So I've got my little fringe. So the hardest part about that is opening it up. You gotta be careful that you don't get your fringe, you know, torn. It's a little fragile, but look how cool that is. Woo! All right, gather it up and twist it. And I would do two of those because see, this little wild child right here, you see how I did that? This is like two of them. Nyeh. All right, we're going to take our pipe cleaner. Okay. And we're going to do the twisty wisty. Meow, meow, meow. Okay. And you can fold it in half if you want, but depends on the size of your mason jar, right? If you have a little short one like this. All right, we're gonna do tissue flowers with these. I'm gonna show you how to do tissue. So then you can do a, a little fold in half and short. Or if you have a bigger mason jar, you know, I just say, you know, if you have an old relish can or mayonnaise jar. The other thing that you can do is we're gonna show you how to do um, stems from just green paper or painted paper, okay? So let's go ahead and put that in our jar. And the last thing, so it's looking pretty. Go crazy with this. Okay, last thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make the butterfly. Okay, this cute little butterfly. So simple and so stinking cute. So we've got our wings. We're going to fold it in half. Actually, that's not true. We don't fold it in half. Don't fold it in half. I'm in flower mode. So what we're going to do is just make a fold. And then you're going to turn it over and make another fold on top of it, the same size. And you're going to go back and forth, doing your, what I call, accordion pleat. Now, we're going to use this in the next tutorial as well when we start making paper flowers and tissue flowers. So you're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. There's one, mm, get a nice crease in there and it's gonna stay. You stay, stay. All right, here we go. Ready, let's go. It's about a half of an inch. Try to get it as even as possible, but hey, no worries if it's just a little wibbly wobbly. When it comes to the cinching part, it'll all make sense. So we're going back and forth, back and forth. Easy breezy. Now, okay, we've got two pieces back and forth, yeah? Now we're gonna take our hot clean app. Now, what if you don't like the color of your pipe cleaner? What are some options? Let's say you're like, oh, but I really want purple or white or whatever. You can paint your pipe cleaner. You can glitter your pipe cleaner or it takes a little bit more time, but you can take yarn and go around your pipe cleaner. Mm-hmm. Options, baby. All right. So we've got two pieces. Let's get them together. These are our wings. Okay, we'll take our pipe cleaner, kind of estimate estimate half, and what are we gonna do? Boom, fold it in half and twist, twist. Now, gotta make sure your wings are symmetrical. That means 
the same on this side as it is on this side, yeah? Okay, so I think they're they're good. They look kind of even to me. And then we're going to do the swirly whirly. We're going to go around and around to make the butterfly antennas. Just like so. All right, I'm going to do the same side on this. Boom, boom. Normally, when I'm crafting, I put on my music and I get in what's called the zone. But today, I am multitasking, meaning I am talking and now I'm fluffing the wings. I'm just a fluffer. Look how easy that was. Easy breezy. I'm just fluffing out. And boom, this gorgeous butterfly is ready to take flight. Wee! Wee! Now, I could put a paper clip in here. I could put, um, if I wanted it in my hair, I could put a barber pin in there. I mean, a little, you know, hairpin. I could put, um, 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 what else could I put in there? Oh, a clothespin. One of those wooden clothespins, right? And I could make this a little clothespin, like a little clippy clip. So that's cool. And then I could also add another pipe cleaner to it, just wrapped right in between the wings if I wanted to add it to my floral bouquet, right? Which is what I did with this one. So we can add this in to our cute, and I could glitter it, right? Oh, you know me and glitter, baby. You know Miss Talbert and the whole glitter situation, but you know. So there we go. We've got our bouquet of gorgeous flowers in and our fabulous, beautiful flowers. Are you excited? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to make a paper towel rose and then some other paper art to show you. But at least now you know what to do with all those coffee filters. Have fun, guys.